right, guys, here's what we got going on tonight. This just got dropped off. Let me turn my heat off so you can hear me a little better. It's a uh, 71 Skylark convertible that is a project. It just got dropped off. I just put the transmission on it. Uh, motor mounts on that, but we're going to discuss this, these other things. As you can see, there's no top on it, no trunk lid. There's some parts there. There's the transmission. That's the old one. There's supposed to be a new one coming. Uh, motor mounts and everything are in there. I don't know where everything is. Yeah, I'm still going through it. I found the cross member there and um, the fan. But I wanted to show you guys. This is what happens when you put them in primer. And then they sit for a long time. It's starting to pop up with uh, rust, as you can see through the primer there. That's why you can't shoot primer on them and let them sit around for I don't even know how long. I know it's been a while because it's got stuff popping up, rust there, starting to pop up through the primer. So all that's going to have to be sanded back down and uh, taken care of. And um, you can see they were wet sanding it. Everything's been painted. It is a mess because it's uh, dust on everything. And then, of course, they towed it over today in the rain. So this is like a freaking mess. So I have to clean all that out. So let's, anyhow, there is nothing there. No brakes. They still running drums on it. I'm surprised since they had done the chassis and stuff on it. They had the body off. Why he didn't go ahead and convert over to discs on the front. I would. Especially in this thing. It's got a 455 on it. He had um, another shop build the motor. I don't know anything about the motor. Um, he wants me to put the transmission in it and button up the motor. Put the radiator and stuff in. It has no... Well, it's got... Yeah, I guess it does. It has the wiring harness there. I thought they took it out when they were doing everything. Thank God they didn't. Because I don't know how far he wants to go with this thing. But we're shut down for the... Uh, coronavirus as of eight o'clock tonight so getting parts from the auto parts store is not gonna be happening so I'm gonna go through and organize all this crap and find out what we need there's the drive shaft um, and what it's missing see they still have like patchwork right here that needs to be finished so like I said it's it needs a lot of work but it's these things are just so cool. I had a friend of mine when we were in our 20s, early 20s. Uh, he had a 68 Skylark that would just rip. And he used to go out and just run everybody in that thing. It was so much freaking fun. It had a 455 in it. But I forgot to show you guys this. What kind of mess I'm getting into. No rear bumper, no nothing. I don't even know where the stuff is yet. Supposedly there's a big box. Um... So we will see exactly what he wants to do. Like I said, it's it's uh, bare bones. It's just a freaking motor sitting on the frame rails. It doesn't have motor mounts on it, nothing. So, and there's some questionable work. Like this patch. Why couldn't you guys actually just make that nice and round just of squaring it up? This one over here is patched. They did the same thing. So, I don't know. Well, we'll see. That's kind of, I'm going to go back through that because that's just, the welds are horrible. I'm not a great welder, but that gone. If you look at the weld over here, I can't, I can't let that go. I'll have to clean that up because if I start putting this nightmare together, I mean together, together, which we're debating on, like I said, how far he wants to go and how much time I have to do it, how long we're closed down for and all that good stuff. Hopefully everybody's staying safe in their homes and uh, take care of your loved ones. And I worry because my, my mom's in her 70s and uh, she has a bunch of problems to begin with. So we'll see. Uh, you can't do anything about it. You can't stress about it. 
You can't act all fruit loopy about it and run around and act like maniacs and buy bald toilet paper and all this other crazy stuff that everybody seems to want to do, like it's in their freaking world. So, I'll keep you guys updated on this. I know I keep walking back and forth. It's just, I'm just keep looking at, man, it needs this, man, it needs that. Um, yeah. But I'll give you guys an update in the next few days, let you know how it's going. We're going to stay confined to the house because there's a mandatory mandatory two-week shutdown in Ohio now. So we're just going to sit here at the house, play on the computer, go through all these parts, and try to do what I can with what I have. And then later on down the road, maybe everything will calm down and go back to normal, and I know it will. It's just a matter of time. Everybody just uh, needs to chill out a little bit and try to remember that there's other people out there that need things too. It's not all about you. You guys have a good evening and stay safe. Thank you.